Hi guys, so I thought I would do a Christmassy book tag today because Christmas is almost upon us. I haven't done one yet. I'm gonna do the Tis the Season book tag. Uh, I have not been tagged by anybody as far as I know, but hey ho, when has that ever stopped anyone? So let's begin. Question number one, do you have a favorite winter read? There's nothing I really pick up every winter and reread. So I decided to go for something that just makes me think of Christmas funnily enough, and that is Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. Um, I've read this a couple of times, and as you can tell, it is kind of the Discworld's equivalent of Christmas time in this book, as it is starring the Hogfather, or lack thereof, the Hogfather, who is kind of like Terry Pratchett's version of uh, Father Christmas, and this is quite a Christmassy cover actually. The next one was Find a Book with Blue on the cover, and I've got loads of books with Blue on the cover, so I tried to pick one that I've never shown before in this channel, which yeah, it might surprise you, I know. Um, and I think this one was in fact a Christmas gift one year, and that is The Folk Tales of Scotland by Nora and William Montgomery. Um, that sounds like they may be a wife and, wife and husband duo right there. And we have, it says here, The Well at the World's End and other stories. And I, I love my short stories and folk tales and fairy tales, especially when they come in beautiful packaging. So uh, this this is a nice book, actually. Again, this is probably one that would have made a nice Christmas present for my gift guide. <laughs> Question number three is find a book you would use as a star to top your Christmas tree. And this one was in my Christmas gift guide. And it is Fairy Tales by Carol Ann Duffy, um, another collection of folky fairy tales, this time retellings by Carol Ann Duffy, the famous poetess. Um, and this is published by Faber Classics, and look at that, it sparkles. It's meant to be on top of a Christmas tree, it's so beautiful, and it's even got these little faces peering out. It's just such a beautifully detailed cover, and I love the colours. Next is pick one fictional place you would like to visit on your winter vacation and I have never been on a sort of Christmassy wintry vacation. Um, I don't know, I just don't associate this time of year with like vacationing or going on holiday. Um, so I just picked somewhere, I don't know if it's necessarily Christmassy, I don't know if it was meant to be, um, but I've picked somewhere I'd really like to go <laughs> if it existed and those are the Rain Wilds of Robin Hobbs Rain Wilds Chronicles. Um, this is the first in the series of Dragon Keeper and um, there's a few different places in the Rain Wilds like Tree Hog, but they are just these like amazing cities and towns built amongst the trees, like really high up in the treetops, and they just sound fantastic. I mean, I'm not that well balanced, so I'm probably not that well suited to living in the rain worlds, but it'd be an excellent place to visit, I think. Question number five is pick one fictional character you would take with you on your winter vacation, and I've decided to stick with the same book because I am visiting the rain worlds, and take Thymara with me, who is a native, of the Rain Wilds because she is incredibly well adapted to her living situations and I think she'd be an excellent guide and also keep me safe. <laughs> Name one book on your Christmas wish list. Um, well, probably top of my Christmas wish list other than the German book I need to get for university, which is more of a um, need than want, is uh, Quintus Smyrnus's, I'm never sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Post Homerica, which is a piece of classical literature, a uh, piece of classical Greek literature, and you can maybe tell by the title, uh, the Post Homerica, it is set post um, Homer's Iliad, um, but obviously by a different author, so um, I've been wanting to read that for a while, and hopefully I'll get a copy for my Christmas. <laughs> Favourite holiday, drink, treat, and movie. Well, rather than mulled wine, I am a massive fan of mulled cider. I love me some mulled cider around this time of year. Um, so that's probably my favourite holiday drink. Two favourite holiday movies and they are Holiday Inn and A White Christmas and they're kind of like older um, Christmas, like they're older Christmas movies. Uh, holiday Inn is in black and white and um, they've got like music obviously <laughs> like White Christmas and um, yeah it's just really up my street. I love those films. And favourite holiday treat. I don't know if I have a specific favourite treat that is just for this time of year. We do always have lemon tart on um, Christmas day and that is my favourite dessert of all time. 
Um, and I do enjoy my like annual mincemeat pie. Um, you know those ones that aren't actually mincemeat, the ones with the fruit inside. And those are all the questions. It'll be a fun little video before um, Christmas uh, comes around. And I hope you have a lovely one if you're celebrating or doing something on the day um, related. Um, if not, then just have a lovely holiday season and I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye guys.